today we'll be teaching vanilla cake. I don't know how many of us know how to make a vanilla cake already. How many of us here? All right, perfect. So today we'll be, we have different types of cakes, as I earlier on said, ranging from chocolate cake, red velvet cake, sponge cake, and even the vanilla cake. So for today's class, we we'll personally pick out the vanilla cake. And on the board here, we have some ingredients set aside for the class. Then I'll give you the measurements as well. So the first thing we using for today's class is floor. How many of us know floor? We all know floor. I told you earlier that we have different types of floor. We have corn floor. We have wheat floor. We have plain multi-purpose floor. So for the sake of today's vanilla cake, we'll be using plain multi-purpose floor. That's two cups of flour. The second thing we'll be using today is sugar. And we are using half cup of sugar. Anytime you use two cups of flour to bake a vanilla cake, you're expected to use half cup of sugar. Mainly if I use four cups of flour, how many cups of sugar will I use? Better. So we are going to proceed to the next ingredient here, which is baking powder. We'll be using one teaspoon of baking powder. And the next thing we'll be using is butter. All right? Well, whenever I use uh, two cups of flour, you're expected to use 250 grams of butter. So meaning if I'm using four cups of flour, how many grams of butter will I use? <laughs> Very well. So we'll proceed to the next ingredient here. We have eggs. So whenever I use two cups of flour, you're going to use six eggs. Meaning if I use four cups of flour, how many eggs will I use? Twelve. All right. So we'll proceed to the next ingredient, nutmeg. By using one TSP. I said TSP means what? Three TSP means? Very well. So we're using one teaspoon of nutmeg. The next thing we'll use, which is very, very important, is salt. On the board, we have how many spoons of salt? Water. So, how many spoon? One over four teaspoon of salt. The next thing we use here is flavor. So, for today's cake, we'll be using the vanilla flavor. Vanilla flavor, which is one TBSP, that's one tablespoon. One TBSP, that's one tablespoon. The next thing we'll be using is our powdered milk. All right, so whenever you use two cups of flour to bake a cake, you are expected to use one level cup of powdered milk. Do you understand? Yes. Do you understand? So these are the set out uh, recipes for today's class. But um, we are going to go straight into the practical session so you understand deeply about what we need. Before we do that, I'm going to introduce few equipment using for today's class. So for clarity's sake, the first thing we'll be using whenever you're baking a cake, a vanilla cake, a proper vanilla cake, you need at least three bowls in front of you. Three bowls. Are we together? Yes. Three bowls. So I'm going to give it a diagrammatical illustration on the board. That's one, two, three. How many bowls did I draw there? Three. three. Now, to the first bowl, you're going to add all the dry contents. Meaning, can you point out the dry contents on the board? It's not a dry content. It should be a dry content. And it's not, it's not going to be added here. So the only dry content we are not adding to the first bowl is sugar. So to the first bowl, we are adding flour, baking powder, nutmeg, salt, powder, milk. Those are the dry contents you add to the first bowl. How many bowls are left? Two. So to the second bowl, we are going to add the butter and the sugar. Now, how many bowls are left now? Wow. To the last bowl, we are going to add our eggs. Do you understand? Yes. Sir. We have three bowls, right? Yes. The same way we have three processes in baking a vanilla cake. How many bowls did we set out? Three. three. So we also have three processes in baking a vanilla cake. The first process is mixing. That's mixing the flour together with the baking powder. The second process is creaming. Creaming your butter and sugar to be fluffy. And the last process is whisking. You whisk your egg till it's foamy. 
Do you understand? Yes. So these are simple ethics in baking and your baking mm -hmm. made easy. Any questions so far before we proceed to the practical? Uh, there is no question. I will also introduce a few other equipments. We need the egg whisk. This is called egg whisk. It's used to whisk your egg. In, in cake baking, you don't say beat your egg. You whisk it. And you don't whisk with your fork. You whisk with this egg whisk. All right? The next thing we need is measurement cup and spoons. Measurement cups and spoons. It's used for accurate measurements in baking. The next thing we need is pallet knife. The pallet knife will be used to check when our cake is ready. We also need your baking pan. Your baking pan will be used to give it an exact shape of a cake. You also need your oven. You can decide to use your electric oven, your gas oven, or the locally made oven. So, and either of them can go for your cake baking. So now we are going to proceed to the practical process call. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir.